Hey YouTube, it's American Samurai back again with a comic review. Today we're taking a look at the com a comic from the distant past of uh, uh, September 1991. This is Stanley Lee making it big. This is Lights, Camera, Action, the first issue of what I think is the first Wonder Man solo series. Uh, primarily story deals with Wonder Man in LA and trying to pursue a career as an actor, though he doesn't want to be an action star. And also him having to deal with uh, a villain who has now taken on the persona of Giant Man, though apparently originally he was also known as the Smuggler and Power Man, the second Power Man. Um, Comics itself deals with uh, Simon's trials and tribulations of trying to be an actor and all of the superheroes that end up happening along the way. While Wonder Man himself is well done, um, his ensemble cast, I fear, really needs some work. Uh, Smuggler's okay. You know, he's essentially a villain. We have Ginger, one, Wonder Man's kind of forced love interest. His agent, who I think looks like an evil Stan Lee. You can't tell me that was not model of Stan Lee. Uh... Well, decent, and I like the little interview they do with Wonder Man here. Um, there's like a poster. It does have the original poster in here still, so in case you guys wonder what that looked like. Yes, uh, obviously this was way before the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but uh, yeah, if Wonder Man were taking it, I could actually see them using something like this for a poster. They want to do a throwback movie. Um, let's see here. The writer is Gerald Jones, Jeff Johnson, penciler, Terry Austin, inker, Pat Brucero, letterer, Joe Gross's color, Fabrice Nicole, editor, and Tom DeFalco, editor in chief. So, what do I give this first issue of Wonder Man's, what I believe is his first solo series? Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I like the Wonder Man character. I've uh, read the uh, first appearance he has in the Avengers. And overall, the character is well done. Even in modern times, I think he's still really well done. But this story itself is just okay. I'd give this about um, a two and a half, maybe two and three fourths out of five. It's, it's nowhere near my usual standard. Uh, if I found another issue, the next issue at, a at the same price I got this one, would I get it? Yes. Would I pick up a graphic novel of it if I could find it for a decent price? Yes. But overall, unless you're a big fan of Wonder Man in general, you can go ahead and skip this series. Because I think uh, Lice Camera Action is uh, cut and never see the light of day again. That's my view. So yeah, I give this a three and th or two and three fourths out of five. Uh, if you're a Wonder Man fan, then check it out by all means, but if you have no interest in the character, you won't miss anything by skipping this one. Let me know what your favorite comic series is from the 90s in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And, um, leave a comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit the thumbs up if you think I deserve it. And, uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I do, I do random reviews. Sometimes Jeremy does, my brother Jeremy does reviews. I'm Bucky749, a.k.a. the American Samurai, on other names. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in your comment below. And who's your favorite solo Avenger that you think should get a movie in the MCU? I don't think Wonder Man's ever going to happen. All right, until next time, this is American Samurai saying, until next time, stay safe, stay sane, and keep reading comics.